Let's talk about Russian forces on Ukrainian border. Russian troops near the Ukraine border. Hello, my friends. My name is Artur Rehi and I am an Estonian soldier. I served my time in Kuperyanov Infantry Battalion in southern Estonia in 2018 and 19. Right now I'm in the reserves. If war happens with Russia and Estonia, I get a call, I take my weapon and I go. But today we're gonna talk about Ukraine and Russia. And this is one of the most requested video. You guys want to know what I think about this as an Estonian soldier. Before I start, I will really quickly name three Patreons. This channel actually relies on Patreons. They keep it going and I'm very thankful for them. We have Jonathan Castro, the proud Texan. I am glad that somebody from Texas, the state of guns, is supporting Estonia, actually. I'm glad. Thank you. Then we have Love Lore. Yeah, I could say Love Lore, but Love Lore is much more Estonian. Thank you for supporting the channel. And finally, we have Sean Putnam of Utah. We have Texas and Utah both supporting Estonia. Thank you, my friends from the States. If you want to support the channel, the Patreon link is in the description below. I choose this time to make this video because Estonian parliament this very day is discussing how to help Ukraine in this time of need and what to do. I think every country in Europe has this discussion. If you don't know what's happening with Russia and Ukraine right now, Russian forces are on the Ukrainian border. They have been for three to four months, but I have a video lined up for you that will explain it better than I can. About a month ago, the U.S. reported that Russian troops were gathering in large number in several cities near the Russian border with Belarus and Ukraine. Russia says it is entitled to station its troops on its territory and they pose no threat. But NATO and Ukraine say... Well, technically, yes, Russia can move uh, troops around in its territory however the much they want. But of course, every country knows that if you move your, your troops next to other countries' borders, it only sends one signal. And Russia knows this. They want to send that signal, I think. Say Moscow may be preparing to launch an attack. Russian troops near the Ukraine border in early November. The U.S. called it unusual activity and raised alarm over a possible invasion. Ukraine responded with its own show of force, military exercises in its border region. We have complete control over our borders, and we are fully prepared for any escalation. In 2014, when Russia annexed Crimea, Ukraine has made several reforms in its defense forces, and they are not as weak as they were in 2014. Seven years has passed, and Ukraine has done so much to its military with those seven years. So it is not as easy for a country as big as Russia to take on Ukraine anymore. They would win, but the cost would be high. NATO pledges its support to Ukraine and is warning against Russian aggression. It is also clear that if Russia uses force against Ukraine, uh, that will have costs, that will have consequences, and, uh, and therefore uh, we continue to call on Russia to de-escalate. Actually, United States President Joe Biden has actually released the official consequences what will happen if Russia invades Ukraine. The consequences are sanctions, but they're not soft sanctions. They're the harshest any country in the world has ever seen, except for maybe North Korea. They would switch Russia off from the SWIFT payment system, which is very much integrated into Russian economy. And this would punish especially the rich people, but also the poor people, the whole country would suffer and this is just one thing they would do a lot more joe biden's administration has actually put together this packet to initiate immediately as the invasion happens disclaimer here i'm not against russian people i'm not against any kind of people i'm against the tyrannical government of russia i don't want you to get hurt or offended i hope we can be friends this is a political game here People are simple. Me and you, we're just soldiers on the ground. I hope we can be friends. Tensions are rising between Russia and the West over Kiev's renewed bid to join the NATO military alliance. For the Kremlin, any expansion of military aid to Ukraine is a red line. 
We can't ignore these threats to the security of Russia. We will react to them as appropriate, adequately to the situation. Ukraine already had a war scare with Russia earlier this year. As a man, I can understand what Mr. Putin means. Yes, NATO is expanding on their doorstep. I cannot argue against that. I've seen many comments who say, what would you do if your enemy would do this? I know where he's coming from. I don't see an invasion as a, as a mean to change this. I think diplomacy would be easier. In April, Russia deployed tens of thousands of troops, aircraft and missiles within striking distance of Ukraine. Moscow called it a military exercise and after weeks of posturing, said the troops were being withdrawn. Western military experts say the maneuvers this November were less visible, perhaps on purpose. We, we don't have clarity into uh, Moscow's intentions, but we do know its playbook. What Ukraine and the West fear is a repeat of 2014, when Russian troops entered Ukraine, followed by the annexation of Crimea, and a bloody war between Russia-backed separatists and Ukrainian troops in the eastern Donbass region. That war has claimed the lives of 10,000 plus people, uh, civilian and military casualties, and it's still going on. It's a cold, frozen conflict with two separate uh, proxy states being established by Russia, Donbass and Luhansk. From Russian view, it is a very successful war for them because it keeps uh, Ukraine in the conflict. If you have different opinions about these things, please put them in the comments. We might have different views upon this. We can still respect each other. Well, I can tell you this, Estonia has already decided to send Ukraine weapons. Obviously, Ukraine is not in NATO. They want to be. And we have no obligation to do this, but we do this because if Ukraine fights with Russia, it is very closely connected to Estonia fighting with Russia, Latvia, Lithuania or Poland fighting with Russia. We are all ex-Soviet states and we're all states that Russia would like not to exist. Estonia is sending Javelin missiles and we're sending 122 millimeter Howitzers. And I'm glad we do. And I would love Ukraine to be even more closer of an ally to us. This affects all of the Eastern European countries, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, Ukraine. Even Sweden has announced now that they are expanding their military budget and expanding their military capabilities. Estonian Foreign Minister has already asked NATO for a bigger presence of NATO military in Estonia. Americans, Germans, Danish come to our country, help us protect ourselves. Finland has bought 60 plus F-35 fighter planes from America. This is the biggest, best and the baddest fighter plane of the world. And this sends a clear message to Russia. You might remember the immigration crisis with Belarus, Poland and Belarus, Lithuania border. Estonia sent also 100 kilometers of barbed wire. We sent that to fortify Lithuania's border. Because if Lithuania is threatened, Estonia is kind of threatened. We are so close. This is how Estonia as a country shows its support to NATO members and also to, to Ukraine and to any Eastern European country that we stand together. How do I feel about it? I am afraid. I have to admit that as a soldier. I don't want to go to war. I don't like war and I don't want to go. I don't want to get that call. But I have to go. And as an Estonian soldier, I am so glad that our country is in NATO because Russia actually picked Ukraine for a reason. They are not in NATO. Russia doesn't want Ukraine to be in NATO. We got in NATO in 2004. If we wouldn't have, right now it would be us instead of Ukraine. So NATO is kind of the reason Estonia can breathe freely here next to Russia. This is my take on it. I am worried, I am afraid, but I'm ready. My friends, if this video offended you or didn't agree with you in any way, please put it in the comments. No need to get uh, mad or angry, just explain yourself and I will explain myself. Let's remain respectful, please. And if you like my channel, then consider subscribing. And as always, my friends, until my next video, stay cool and bye-bye.